Okay, this is the tutorial for the 3D Greek Temple. Here is what it's going to look like as an end result, and then later we will add to it, and you'll put your own personal flair and turn that in separately. So first thing that we're going to do is go up to the Create Polygon Primitives and choose Cylinder. We're going to go ahead and set the radius to 10, the height to 1, Axis divisions are going to be 8, height divisions are 1, cat divisions are 1, axis is Y. So you go ahead and you create that, and that's all there. Now using the W tool, and then I'm going to need to look to it from side view. You can even press, press the space bar so you can look at it. And I just want to move it so that the very bottom of this is right on the gray line. If I look at my channel box, I can see there it is, translate 0.5. Oh, I could try even translate 1, see what it does. No, nope, too high. So I'll just type in 0.5 there, and then I know it's exactly on that position. Then from top view, I'm going to rotate this, so E, using the green one so that it is flat on this top side. And even though that looks correct, it actually needs to be 22.5 so a negative 22.5 is exactly flat so that's how if you know exact numbers it can make things more precise now in the channel box if you look over here and if the channel box isn't on this is this one I believe oh, no nope. it's this one that's your channel box and if you click on P cylinder we're gonna call this temple base and we're gonna do no spaces then we're going to duplicate this using Duplicate Special. So if I go to Edit, Duplicate Special, it's always a good idea just to do Edit, Reset Settings so it doesn't remember things that we did in past assignments. So what we're going to do is we're going to set Translate to first one 0, then along the Y axis we're going to move it up 1, and then on the Scale axis we want it to shrink just a little bit, so along X we're going to shrink it just to 0.9. We'll leave it as 1 in the Y because we don't want it to be thinner like, you know this way but we are going to make it smaller on the Z which is 0.9 as well and we want just one copy and go ahead and duplicate special and there you go now it looks like you've kind of got these steps going on now we didn't set this up so let's just do that right now file set project and go and put it and I've got a Maya folder modeling um, 3d Greek temple so I'll go put it in that one Temple toot for tutorial. You don't have to do that though. Oh, I keep forgetting this isn't saved, this is just set. Set, create default workspace, then I'll go file, save scene, and now I'll call this uh, Temple Tutorial. You can go ahead and just call yours like Temple, Temple Building, something like that is fine. Next thing we're going to do is go up to create and we're going to do polygon again and we're going to do a cube. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't choose the box. Create polygon primitive, make sure to choose the box that way we can choose the sizes. 1.75, 0 0.6 and then 1.75 again for the depth and create. So actually mine was already set to, to the correct settings. Now in your translate Y value, we can go ahead and set it to 2.3 and that should put it exactly where we need it. Now we're going to do a cylinder. So once again, create polygon primitives, cylinder, whoops, and I didn't choose my options again. Silly me, cylinder. Okay, the radius for this one is going to be 0.5. It's much smaller. The height is 6. Axis divisions are 12, and we can go ahead and we can create that. And this is our column. And we're going to translate Y to 5.6, which puts it right above the cube that we created. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to name these. So let's go ahead and click on this, and we're going to call this Temple Pedestal. Oops, there's no R in pedestal. And then this is going to be the temple shaft. If 
Now we're going to select this and we're going to do duplicate special with it. Oops, edit, duplicate special. Make sure to go and reset your settings so it doesn't remember the ones from last time. And we want this to move above. So it's going to be, it doesn't need to move this way, but it just needs to move up. And it's going to move up at 6.6. .6. And of course I could do this manually, but since I know the numbers, I'm going to use them. And we're going to make it slightly smaller. So we're going to make it 0.8. We don't want it to be smaller as far as how thick it is, just the actual size itself. So 0.8 and 0.8. And go ahead and duplicate special, and that puts it right above it. Okay, and I'll go ahead and I'll rename this column capital is what these are called. Oops, caps lock. Okay, we're going to create a NURB. NURBs, you don't want to use them if you're going to 3D print, but for this they'll work. Sphere. The start sweep angle is 0, the end sweep is 180, which is going to make it a half sphere. And then the radius is the 0.75. Number of spans is 4, number of sections is 4. Okay, so I'll go ahead and create that. First thing I do need to do is rotate this. So I like to just see this so I can see how much. So it's rotate x, and I'll just change it to negative 90, and that puts it exactly where I need it to be. Translate y is what I can set to 2.6, and that should put it so it's right inside of the column, resting on top of the pedestal. Now I'm going to switch to R and use the scale tool to just kind of squash it. So it's not a perfect circle, it's more of like a squished oval. And there's that sphere. So let's go ahead and file and save. You want to save frequently because Maya tends to crash. All right, so I'm going to select everything that's part of the column. And I'm going to go ahead and go to edit, and I'm going to group it so that it's all one group. Now if you come to this view right here, if I'm remembering it correctly, oh, nope, it's this one. Okay, third one down. You've got group one, which if I click plus, I can see there's my things. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the name, so double click it to temple, that way it's easy to find later. And then I'm going to go into the top view and then press um, 4 so that I can look at it in wireframe and I need to move this pedestal down so that it's kind of in the corner here. So I want just that box to meet up with that kind of edge there so that when I duplicate this it's going to duplicate correctly. So I need to press D, which will allow me to move my pivot point, because I need this whole thing to pivot off of the center. So I'm going to move it to the center, and it's good. Okay. Now right now I'm actually just going to edit and copy once, and then edit and paste. Oops. Sorry, you got to go back and make sure that's just selected. Try the edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, fine. Select that. If you hold down shift, I can deselect things. Edit, copy, edit, paste. That is very strange that it's not letting me paste this. Okay, I'll duplicate then. And I just want to double check to make sure that it didn't duplicate it in a weird place. Okay, that's good. So now if I look at the hypergraph, I now have... I should have a second temple. Alright, so when I click on the word temple, you can see that both of them highlight. If for some reason they don't, then just select both of them and, and regroup them. Okay, because they need to be a group in order for this duplicate special to work. Okay, now I'm going to go back to top view. You see how this is in the center. That's where I need it to be. So that when I go to my edit and duplicate special, make sure to reset your settings so it doesn't need to remember, you know, those. Now I'm going to go ahead and 
rotate these. So duplicate special, I need to rotate it 90 degrees along Y. So I'll put 90 and I need three copies. And let's go ahead and end duplicate special. And there you go. Saves you a lot of time and you know it's exact. So go ahead and file and save. And we're good there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go create polygon primitives and I'm going to do a torus. And I want to make sure with my torus the radius is 8.5. Um, actually, close that, create, we're going to do it in NURBS, we're going to do a NURBS torus, and the Okay, so we're going to leave all those alone, but we're going to change the radius to 8.5, which it already is, the minor radius to 0.5. You might need to change that on yours. And number of sections is 24, and go ahead and create. And it puts it right here, and I'm going to set it to translate Y should be 9.6. And that puts it right on top of everything. If it doesn't do that for yours, just, you know, move it so it's right there across the top. Okay, now we're going to make this so it's slightly less round, so if you right click on it and you do control vertex, you'll see these little pink dots. And I can click on them and use the move tool to actually kind of raise it up. So if you were in outline mode, you'd be making it so these are just slightly more egg shaped almost. See how they're kind of oval instead of being round? So I just rose it up just a little bit so it wasn't completely round. Okay, now we're going to make the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and create, and I'm going to do a NURBS sphere again. Start sweep angle is this. Those are the same. The difference, though, is the radius is going to be 8.75. And everything else can stay. Create. I need to rotate it. Once again, if you're not positive which way to rotate something, just start to rotate it and see which one changes. So it is X and it's a negative, so I'll do negative 90 degrees, that flips it. And then I can just change the position of it to, oh, I don't remember what it is specifically, so we'll just do it by eye. So I use the move tool. W and move it up so that it just looks like it's right there across the top. Okay, now I'm going to use the scale tool to kind of squish the roof down so that it's less round and kind of has a little more, you know, something like that. Okay, now if you haven't saved recently, make sure you save. And now we just have to add the last little thing. So I'm going to create, I'll do a polygon primitive torus this time. And I'll just keep the default settings and use the move tool to bring it up through the roof. So it should be directly in the center. And I only want about half of it through. If you press F on your keyboard, it'll zoom in on what you're looking at. So you can kind of tell if it's half or not. And you could scale it out a little, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Then I can go ahead and create a sphere, which if you click on this, it'll create one by default. And then I'm just going to W it up. And I'm going to use scale, and I just want to make this, so if you need to look at it from different angles, the idea is I don't want it to look like a sphere, I just want it to be kind of a half of one. So you see how it's kind of not like a huge curve going on? And this video is about to run out, so we will finish up the basics for this one in the next video. So go ahead and save it. And we'll see you in the next one.